If you suffer from digestion problems, we have some help on hand. Digestion problems are among the most common in our modern society. But it's not just what we put into our bodies, it's also the way we move that can help alleviate symptoms. In Diet and Fitness today, we are joined by yoga instructor Erin O'Hara in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Good morning. Good morning. You are also not just a yoga instructor, you are a registered naturopath as well. Yeah, I do both. So how important is, I mean, good digestion is very important to all our well-being. Being, isn't it? Yeah, it's the foundation of your health is making sure your digestive system works properly and quite often even skin conditions like eczema, asthma, allergies can be all related to digestive problems as well. So how can yoga help? Yoga can really help because we do a lot of twisting and can we can creating compression across the belly can oh, be helpful as well. Like what we um, did with Holly before. Which yeah, she struggled so with. we did some twisting <laughs> before, which is going to really help to stimulate digestive digestion and massage through all these internal organs. Well, when you have the baby, of course, when you have a baby, you'd lie them on your lap and you'd sort of you know help them, or you'd rub their tummy in a certain yep, way. Absolutely. So, I'm not going to lie across your lap so you can rub my tummy, <laughs> but you've got some things that you can show us. Three, yeah, three poses. We're going to show you some yoga poses that you can do at home as well and they're super easy um, gonna help to create some pressure over the belly go for it then. so the first one is gonna come laying on your on your back and you can do it on the carpet okay. you can even do it laying in bed as well I've um, got a skirt on so I'm gonna leave you to it yeah today. so you can just watch so you'd yeah. hug your knees and we actually call this the wind relieving posture so if you're gonna really <laughs> bloated tummy this is gonna be amazing to help to release all that gas through the tummy and sometimes it may make you fart and you're just gonna squeeze your knees in and take some nice big belly breath so mm -hmm. that's the same as creating a massage over the belly so that's the first one that must feel good what's a fun yeah. between friends anyway really okay. good. <laughs> what's your second one and the second one would be a nice twirling motion through the belly so you'd take nice big circles circling through your belly and you can go okay. one direction and go in the other direction and if you want to make it even work even better you can hold your breath so you take a big breath in and you'd move around in one direction I used to do that go with my baby way. I'd sit them on my lap and I would move my body like this with them and it would definitely bring up the burps every yeah, single time. So amazing. It just gets everything moving, massages through these organs and builds some apana, which is a downward eliminating energy, which is helpful for digestion. Great. And then my other favourite one is a windmill motion, which you have your legs out nice and wide and bring your arms out. And you're also creating some twisting through the body and you lower yourself down, coming down and take some nice deep breaths and you're creating that pressure through the lower belly. And then you can rise back up and do the other side and you can do it as many times as you need to. So these things are good to do after dinner if you're feeling a bit bloated? I think the best time to do these sorts of things would be first thing in the morning to really get digestion stimulated and then you can get that first bowel movement and bowel movement should happen every day although I know a lot of people think that you know once a week or every three days is okay but actually for optimal health you want one to two bowel movements every day. Oh, a lot of people going yeah. oh that many did not know. Yeah so that's what you need for health and just eliminating all the toxins out of your body like a waste system. So those um, things that you just showed us then are they okay for pregnant women because when you're pregnant obviously you get a lot of digestion problems. Yeah absolutely so you wouldn't do the one laying on your back because that's creating pressure over baby. You wouldn't be able to get your knees yeah. up there anyway. <laughs> no and you don't want to squash baby in so I probably wouldn't do that one but the the circling of the body sitting cross legs absolutely amazing for digestion for pregnant women so, as well. So what sort of things should we be aiming to put into our bodies to help with our digestion? And the best thing is fibre. Fibre helps to work like a little brush. It cleans out the digestive organs and gets everything moving along. So a lot of fibre in your diet um, and that can come from fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains um, to just get those nice fibre to help to flush everything out. And then just watching how much red meat you eat or how much, how many, how much meat products mm -hmm. because they um, just sort of stagnate in your bowels and it'll slow everything down. So you want things that are quick exit out of the body and the other thing is water. Water helps make nice soft stools to just move everything along and flush everything out of the system. So how much water should you be drinking on an average per day? Ideally like one and a half to two and a half litres of water every day and if you're drinking coffee and I know a lot of people use coffee as their way of exiting out their bowels but actually you need to drink even more water. Mm. It's a little bit of a um, diuretic so you want to keep your fluids going on into your body as well. And our kids should we make sure that they drink the same amount or slightly less because they're smaller Slightly people? 
best, um, but they still need to keep their fluid up and it depends how active they are. So fluid balance really depends on what you're doing, if you're sweating, if you're moving a lot, then you need a bit more fluid um, and just making sure they, they keep as much fluid as they can into Excellent. their little Especially bodies. Excellent, this time of year as well. Excellent yeah. advice. Thank you so much, Erin. It's been a pleasure having you here oh, as always. You're welcome. Uh, and for another way to get some fitness into your life, check out the Health Station VFit Special Cafe offer by calling the number on screen.